Do we have to keep talking about death all the time? Just keeps reminding me of Grandma. Here, you go rest, hon. I got that. Hey, thanks. We could not have held this all together without you. you well, know. that's why I'm here. I know Roseanne would want me to step in and watch over the family. No, it'd kill her. <laughs> but she's already dead, so carry on. No mother should ever have to bury her own child. Mom, you're 92. You're gonna see all of us die, and then you're gonna get buried by a robot. Hey, everybody. Tina! Hey! Hi! I'm sorry I missed the funeral. The airport in Afghanistan was under attack for a while. Still faster than O'Hare. This is all just fruits and vegetables. If you don't eat right, your heart can attack you like Granny Rose. Oh, I gotta take this. I just finished cleaning out Mom's dresser. Remember how she was always complaining that she didn't have any necklaces to wear? Here they are. Dad, you gotta start sleeping in your bed. Sleeping on the couch every night's bad for your back. I just dozed off watching TV, not the end of the world. I read an article in the dermatologist's office that said it's very common for people not to want to sleep in a bed that someone died in. Fascinating. <laughs> About that, do you ever read anything that anyone wants to hear? No, usually not. No. <laughs> Gina, how long before you have to go back to Afghanistan? Oh, they only give you a five-day leave for the death of a loved one. Aunt Darlene says that Granny Rose might come back as a bird or a grasshopper. That's really sweet, but I think Aunt Darlene should put away her yoga pants and pick up a Bible. <laughs> uh, not that crazy, really. Just reincarnation. Only about a billion people believe in it. <laughs> well, you better make your reservation in Hale, Dan, because it's going to be crowded. <laughs> reservation? We already have a cabana. <laughs> Dan, can I talk to you for a minute? <sighs> I just got a call from a friend in the coroner's office. The autopsy found that it wasn't a heart attack. Roseanne OD'd on opioids. Not possible. When we knew she had a problem, she was only on pain pills for two days after surgery. Then it was just ibuprofen. It's got to be wrong. Well, I wish it was, but they think that she must have taken the pills right before bed. And with her health issues, it was enough to stop her breathing. Wait, what? Mom overdose? It doesn't make any sense. I got her knees fixed. I flushed all her pills. Oh, my God. I found these pills in Mom's closet. Hmm. Well, these aren't even prescribed to her. She got them from Marcy Bellinger. It's the only thing from Mom's closet that I wanted. I cannot believe how far past due they are on some of these. Maybe we should just tell the bill collectors that Mom died. Don't you remember Mom used that herself like five times? <laughs> yeah, but I feel like we could really sell it this time. <laughs> Are we horrible for laughing? Well, I'm tired of crying. And laughing inappropriately is what Mom taught us to do. <laughs> I still can't believe she OD'd. You know what? I can't do bills right now. I gotta finish my split shift at the restaurant. Well, all right, but we gotta get this done, so let's pick it up Friday night. I can. I have a date. Okay, fine. Saturday morning. I just told you I have a date on Friday night. <laughs> Becky, you can't stay vertical for one more day. Look, maybe you can handle this. I can't. I went through it when Mark died. I don't want to do it again. You're not going to just dump all of mom and dad's stuff on me, OK? I've got two kids. I've got a full-time job. No. You're the obvious choice to take over from mom. You already live here, and you're a scary little tyrant. <laughs> You're just going to compliment me and walk out? You're right. I'm going to get my phone and find someone to cover my shift. 
I'm going to do what's right. You're too trusting. You might want to work on that. <laughs> hey, you and Aunt Becky need to make up. What if she died and the last thing you ever did was fight? Oh, hey. Are you thinking about how you and Granny Rose fought a lot before she died? Kind of. You know, families fight, but we know that we always love each other. And plus, it's in all those letters that Granny Rose left each one of us. Granny Rose wrote everyone a letter? Oh, God, maybe not everyone. <laughs> you suck. I might die tomorrow, don't be mean. <laughs> always wanted to do this and so I thought that with all the company that we've had recently and the prior 40 years of unattended filth <laughs> um, this would be a good time to fulfill her dream uh, when will it be dry I was gonna zone out in front of the TV for a bit uh, it takes uh, three to five days <laughs> I thought about what I said, and I realized it was insulting and dismissive. I see that now because I need a ride to work. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. It's on the house. I appreciate it. Um, does your sympathy extend to close friends? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is domestic. My loss is deeper than that. I think it goes all the way to Germany. Got it. Dad, what is this? What's it look like? It looks like a lawsuit. You can't do this. I, I just took it off the side of your truck. People are taking pictures. That's the point. Put it back. Look, I know that you're upset, but this isn't going to help. It's helping me. Now, I can either do this or drive my truck through her house. Don't. My boyfriend did that, and he's having so much trouble getting his license back. Thank you. Let's go, Chuck. The uh, truck through the house thing, that's just an expression, right? Hey, I thought this is Enrique and Joey. Hello, man. Listen, you guys can play in here. I got stuff to do in the garage. You don't have to go. They're leaving because I have to do homework. They just came in to get a drink. Really sorry to hear about your wife, Mr. Connor. Thank you, son. People die. What are you going to do? <laughs> Seen a little too much action in Nam, Joey? <laughs> See you tomorrow. Hey, that's our cop. <laughs> All right. I'll be out in the garage, buddy. Okay. Can I ask you something first? Sure, if it's quick. Granny Rose and I were talking about this field trip I'm going on Friday, and we never got to finish. There's these two kids who want me to sit next to them on the bus, and she was going to help me figure out who to pick, because whoever I sit next to, it kind of means I like them. This doesn't sound quick. <laughs> Are any of them boys? Yeah. Enrique and Joey. Would you like to talk about death some more? I just need to make a decision right away. It's really important. I gotta be honest with you, pal. There's a reason that your mom and Aunt Becky went to Grandma for all this stuff. It's a measure of my deep affection for you that I haven't run out of the room already. <laughs> Grandpa Dan? Yeah. Did you ever like a boy? No. Does it bother you that I do? No. Oh. I was kind of waiting for you to tell me about it. Sorry I took so long. <laughs> okay, don't let it happen again. I hope everyone is enjoying the movie. I'm having a blast sitting on this hard chair paying bills on a plastic...